Welcome to Lightning Talks. Please welcome to the stage staff developer for Shopify, Joffer Hussein. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for being here with me today. Before I get started, if you have any questions, and I'm willing to bet you're going to have a few, I'll be available at the developer drop-in area to chat after this until the end of today. Let's get into it. We have order editing. I'm so excited to be able to share this project with you today. You probably heard Lindsay talk about it on the main stage this morning and how long it's been wanted. When I started at Shopify over six years ago, order editing was always the feature we wished we could make, but it was going to require an entire rebuild of our order foundations before it could become a reality. After investing in those foundations, I can tell you we're really excited to be where we are today. Shopify was built over a decade ago with the assumption that orders were never going to change. Buyers would place orders and merchants would ship those orders. What else did you need? Today we know that the pipeline of order processing is dramatically more complex than that. And our goal with order editing is to help merchants manage that complexity just a little bit better. Orders interact with almost everything in the Shopify platform. Fulfillments, inventory, payments, reporting, you name it. And merchants expect to be able to trust all of that data. Our team has put in a ton of effort to make sure that edits are reflected across the entire Shopify platform seamlessly. We've also invested in a long-term architecture that's going to make the orders platform more extensible for years to come. But before I get too deep into the technical, I want to cover a little bit about why this feature is going to be so valuable to our merchants. We're all painfully aware that we don't live in a perfect world, and commerce is particularly messy. Merchants have to deal with customers who make mistakes, change their mind, or just want to order something they forgot to order last time. Giving flexibility to our merchants lets them provide a great customer experience. And with your help, we can give them some of the most powerful tools on the market to help them reflect reality. Order editing also opens up huge capabilities for personalization, customer relationship management, and buyer control. Now you're probably wondering what you'll actually be able to do with these new abilities. Well, let's go over a little bit about what the, the API is going to support. So you'll be able to add and remove items to an order. You'll be able to adjust the quantities of those items, whether they were added through an edit or on the order originally. You'll be able to add custom items, just like draft orders and point of sale support today. And you'll also be able to invoice buyers with a summary of changes from the edit. I'm also really excited to announce that additional payments will be collectible through Shopify checkout. And now that you know what you can do, let's go through what happens on Shopify's side once we receive your edit. The first thing that's going to happen is any fulfillment obligations that were on the order will be updated to reflect the most recent version of that order. Inventory for newly added items will be sourced from a location or released in the case of an item removal. And the buyer will be notified of any changes that happen to the order with a link to check out if they have any money to owe on the order. Internally, the full history of the order is preserved, so you don't have to worry about making destructive edits. And all price recalculations will be handled by Shopify and available through the API, so you don't have to worry about doing the heavy lifting there either. Now let's get to something exciting. This is the demo. So in this scenario, we have a customer who bought the Stratus backpack in navy, but they decided, mm, you know what, I actually want it in black instead. So we're going to use the Shopify mobile app here to perform a swap for the customer. We're going to click on the button in the top right corner, and you'll see a new edit option in there. If we click on that, we'll be presented with the new edit order screen. The first thing we'll do here is add the Stratus backpack in black. So we'll find it in our menu and add it. And now the next thing we're going to do is remove the original navy backpack, since we don't need it anymore. When we click on it, we can decrement it down to zero, and we'll also choose to restock it, since it never left our warehouse. Now when we scroll down, we can leave a reason for the edit. That's just an internal note for ourselves. And we can see there's no extra to collect, so we can just directly update this order here. So confirm, and now we can see 
when we scroll down, that the order has actually been updated and the original item shows up under removed items. Now, we're gonna go through this again, but this time we'll add an item to the order that increases the value of it. So if we go back into that menu, this time we're gonna add a product, but we'll add the mini circle bag. Let's click on that, find the mini circle bag here. And now when we scroll down, we'll see two things. One, that there's an extra $135 to collect, and two, that the update order button has changed to review invoice. When we click on that button, we'll get to see a preview of the email that gets sent to the buyer with a summary of changes and the link to checkout. Everything here looks good, so we'll click send in the top right corner, and that email is going to get fired off to the buyer, and now the merchant just has to sit back and wait for that payment to come in to continue their fulfillment process. Everything you saw in those demos was built using our order editing GraphQL APIs. And those APIs will be available for you today in developer preview with a general release following hopefully 30 days from now. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Now one last time we're going to go through that demo, but we're going to break down the API calls happening behind the scenes so you can actually see how all of the calls work together. The order editing API was designed to be used in a workflow and reflecting that in the interface meant breaking it up into multiple calls. We think this is going to help developers like yourselves provide the best experience for merchants and their customers. The first mutation I wanna talk about is the order edit begin mutation. This is going to create a record on the server that you can reference in future calls to compose your edit. So nothing happens here other than creating a record that you can use to reference. So one thing you'll notice here is that in the response of our GraphQL, we have an object called a calculated order. This is a preview of how the order will look once all changes are applied to it. And you'll receive one of these in the response of every edit mutation. The reason this exists is because none of the changes are actually going to take effect until you choose to commit your edit at the end. So here we've only selected the ID since nothing else has changed at this point. The next one, oh, sorry. If you remember in our demo, just opening the flow kicks off the order edit begin mutation. The next mutation I wanna talk about is order edit add variant. So this one, you just provide the ID that you got in the order edit begin mutation, along with a variant ID and its quantity, and it will be updated on the uh, calculated order to reflect that change. So here you can call this multiple times and you can add as many items you want to the order. Same goes for our other mutations as well. If an item, that's an item that you want to add to the order is not already known to Shopify, you can create what we call a custom item. That means it's not tied to our variant or inventory information in Shopify. You can use the order edit add custom item mutation, and all you need to do is provide the title, price, and quantity, and it will be added to the order. You'll also see that we can select if it's taxable or if it requires shipping as well. you want to adjust the quantity of an item that's already on the order or an item that's been added through this edit process, you can use the order edit set quantity mutation. All you need to do here is provide the quantity you want the item to be set to and it will be again reflected in that calculated order. Lastly, when you made all of your changes to the order and everything looks as it should expect as you should as you expect in the calculated order, you can use the order edit commit mutation, and that's going to apply the changes, notify fulfillment, route inventory from a location, and alert any webhook subscribers about the change. You'll also notice that we have a field for a staff note that you can use to record an internal reason why this edit occurred. Apps will also be able to control sending an invoice and summary of changes to the buyer here. Now you're probably wondering, after seeing all those demos, how much of our existing APIs are actually going to change in order to support these behaviors? And the answer is thankfully not that much. The orders API has all of the same fields you know about today. And the orders total price and total tax will be updated to reflect the most recent version of that order. And the same goes for the orders line items and tax lines. The order update webhook will also fire when an edit is completed and apps can use that information to act on any changes that are relevant to them. 
The refund and fulfillment APIs will also work on edited orders just like they do today on regular orders with no differences in the interface at all. Now this is the really exciting part for me. Let's talk about what problems you can help us solve for merchants. Merchants just want to make their customers happy. And with order editing, apps can reward a buyer's first purchase or maybe their hundredth with after the fact changes that are fully integrated with our inventory and fulfillment systems. Apps can add items to an order immediately after checkout, and merchants don't have to stay up all night worrying about managing their inventory levels or other logistics nightmares. It all just works. We can help save the merchant time and provide them a great and accurately tracked customer experience. With the new order editing APIs, you can also help us expose powerful pre-order and customization workflows for buyers who want to adjust their order to be exactly the way they want it. Imagine a shop that has highly customizable goods and wants to allow their customers to, to upgrade their selections even after they've placed their order. Or maybe there's a shop that accepts deposits and then works with their customers to tailor their product directly to their needs. All of that is now possible directly through Shopify. There are huge marketing opportunities available here as well. Providing timely, personalized offers to customers can help increase sales and encourage loyalty between the brand and their customers. Products can be recommended and exclusive time-limited deals offered right after checkout. The sky is really the limit here. Now I want to go over a little bit about what you can expect from us later this year after this initial release. We already know that merchants want to be able to offer discounts on orders even after they've been placed. And this is going to be one of our top priorities after this first release. We also know that after making edits to an order, merchants want a way to easily recalculate their shipping costs in order to more accurately reflect their order. We've heard from beta merchants who want custom email templates for invoicing and also the ability to send those invoices outside of the editing flow. And multi-currency support is already in progress as we speak. Now before I leave, I want to emphasize a few points from my talk today. Be aware of order updates. That means listen to webhooks and update your app's logic if you do things like cache line items or order totals. Since those objects and fields are not immutable, you should expect them to change. Consider the possibilities in this new world of open-ended orders. Those post-purchase experiences in customer loyalty, personalization, and marketing that I highlighted earlier. The APIs for this are going to be available for all of you today in developer preview, as well as the feature in the admin, with a general release following hopefully within 30 days. And if you have any questions about order editing, I'll be in the developer drop-in area to chat after this talk until end of today. Thank you.